In this video, I want to talk to you about what I consider to be the most important factor in my 12-week brain fitness program. I believe that exercise is the single most important way you can boost your brain functions today and have better brain function and better brain health for years to come. Exercise has incredible benefits for the brain that I will mention later, but let me tell you what you need to do today. If you are not exercise kind of person, if you're very busy, you don't have time for exercise, I recommend that you squeeze in about 40 minutes three times a week and go for walks. Walking one or two miles a day three times a week can have incredible benefits for your brain. It's too good to be true, but studies have shown that if you do just that, if you walk one or two miles three times a week, you reduce your risk for Alzheimer's disease by about 40%. It's incredible, but it is true. So remember how wonderful exercise for your brain is and try to squeeze some time in your daily routine to go for walks. If you're a kind of person who does go to the gym once or twice a week that you would like to do more but you really don't have time, I recommend that you add vigor to your exercises. So things like high intensity interval training are really good for the brain because they help to increase the number of mitochondria in your muscles and elsewhere in other body parts and in your brain. Ideally, you want to exercise about three hours a week. So whether you do two times, one and a half hours, or one hour, three times a week, or half an hour, six times a week, it's up to you. And if you're a kind of person who exercises a lot, then keep doing it. You don't have to do anything extreme, but keep doing what you're doing because these things are really good for you. I'm a believer, and that's what I do. I go for runs once or twice a week, I swim once or twice a week, and I go for bike rides once or twice a week. I actually have completed several triathlons which require swimming, biking, and running for about four hours. I do it at my own pace, I don't rush it too fast, and I finish in four hours, which is three hours, but I love it. I feel much better when I exercise, and I know that these things that I do are wonderful for my brain. Now let me tell you about the science behind these things. People who exercise regularly have up to 43% more tiny blood vessels in their brain. Imagine, your brain loves oxygen and nutrients, so the more blood vessels come to your brain, your brain will be happier. So people who exercise regularly, people who are strong and fit, have more than 40% more blood vessels in their brain compared to people who have a sedentary lifestyle. Exercise, regular exercise, has also shown to increase the number of the amount of uh, protein in the brain called BDNF, brain drive neurotrophic factor, which is like a miracle growth for the brain. This is the protein that helps with healing after stroke, after a concussion, but can also help grow new brain cells. Exercise can grow new brain cells. This has been studies in many uh, uh, research investigations. Uh, Exercise can grow blood vessels and can help generate new brain cells in the memory part of the brain called hippocampus, but it can also help with the number of synapses throughout the brain and increase the number of connections between brain cells. So doing exercise is a no-brainer. I really encourage you to get out there and do something with the goal of about three hours a week of mild to moderate exercise, and if you can do more, go for it. Good luck.